welcome back to the channel last video we cleaned the heater core for the humvee and uh yeah this is what came out i did show it and did talk about it in the um previous video so now we are going into our next project we're very excited to do that so here is what i found i found that my antifreeze uh, in my humvee was probably done august 2009 that's something that i found while i was working on a different project it's been about 12 years i think it's time to change definitely the coolant the coolant was not dirty it is green and nice but before i get on the road i prefer that everything will be uh, done and i do all of those things before i start to use the humvee um, just as a preventative and just to um, to do it so what I think happened, I think that basically the Humvee was rebuilt or reconditioned in 09. Since then, uh, it's been sitting uh, somewhere in the desert and uh, nothing was done to it, I think. My Humvee is in great shape and, it, and that's what it seems like. It looks like it was just been sitting there uh, waiting to be deployed or anything like that. It, it looks like it was not in use and I didn't see any rust or I didn't see any traces of a lot of particles or dirt or rust in the coolant when I uh, worked on the heater core but I am going to do it and one of the things I want to do is I want to change it to this coolant so this is the Preston Platinum this is rated for 15 years 350,000 miles uh, which I wanted to just pay a few bucks more and get the best this will go to a minus 50 Fahrenheit and plus 268 Fahrenheit so negative 50 guys yeah that's pretty cold but you know what I want to be able to use the Humvee um, no matter what especially if it's in an emergency situation as a bug out vehicle probably will be uh, dealing with other issues around negative 50 but um, you know what this it starts here to prepare for it at least so I won't have I won't have those issues in the future so anyway um, I'm also going to do a very quick uh, flush to the system with this guy and um, again I'm not going to drive it I'm, I'm unable to drive it around for a few days and also I want to get it done before it's getting uh, too cold to do it uh, and I want to do it quick and I don't think that the system is really in that of a bad shape but I'm going to go ahead and do it I'm excited and I'm ready to do it let's get to it all right, guys, I'm going to start with this coolant drain plug right here. And I'm going to open it up and see what comes out. And we'll go from there. loosen so see where it comes out not too bad not too bad guys look like it's just really just caught Not too bad, I don't see any rust or anything. So this is a good, this is a really good sign. Let's drain it. This is very slow. I'm gonna go and turn on and open the cap. Very slow, guys. Well, it, it took 15 20 minutes, and it looks like we're done here. I must say, coolant looks great. I mean, it's been probably 12 years since the last time it's been uh, replaced, but you know what? It, it looks really good. So, I'm gonna keep it open. I'm gonna put some water in the system and make sure it's all coming out. Well, Wow, 
uh, get some water going into the system. And yeah, it looks it looks pretty clean. Just gonna shut it off here. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the system. So it looks like filling up the system good here. And wash this and I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine and start to get that into the system and I'm gonna use Preston cleaner thing. Let it run a little bit until the um, thermostat opens up and gets everything out and then I'm gonna flush it and see what comes out. Filled up the water here and I'm gonna press this guy here. So get some air out of the system. They call it to I guess burp air out. I'm gonna put this guy in and let it circulate and then I'm gonna drain it. Again, like I said before guys, uh, I can't drive around. I don't have my license plate yet. So I'm just gonna do everything here. I'm just gonna do the quick uh, wash and do it multiple times as many times as I need. And right now I'm just gonna let that circulate in the system and we'll go from there. I'm gonna start the engine. get to temperature all right guys so the engine is running for a few minutes already just past the uh, 160 so I believe that the thermostat is not open yet and it looks like the reservoir is still full so I'm gonna wait the temperature is starting to climb up a little bit which is awesome so it looks like the um, uh, clean up and, and flush I did for the um, heater core uh, worked because I feel hot air coming out, which is great. The wife is gonna be happy. The temperature won't go above 200. I mean, it's great. It doesn't uh, overheat or anything, but I am not sure if the thermostat is open. I ran the engine about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, everything works great. The heater core works, so we have heat. I'm so happy with that. I was waiting for the thermostat to open up, which it, I don't think it did. I'm gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit, and I might just um, take that thermostat out, and then that way make sure that everything circulates well, and flush it, and then fill it up with the uh, antifreeze, all right? All right, so second time. Unfortunately, I'm running out of daylight here, so I'm gonna take a break. See you guys tomorrow. So uh, it's a new day today. Got the hose back in. Last night I took the uh, thermostat out and um, just basically I wanted to clear to make sure that everything is going uh, pretty well and um, that there is flow 
because I did try to um, turn the engine on and let it heat up, but you know what? It, it didn't even open because it was uh, very cold yesterday, so couldn't even get to that. So I decided to uh, just take the uh, thermostat out. I am just gonna basically um, tight those clamps back in here and fill up the uh, system. I know I still have coolant in the system because it didn't open up, like I said. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna put some water in and let it circulate good. And then I'm gonna drain it until it's completely, completely clear. And then we'll go from there, fill up the new one. And um, yeah, time to get to it. So um, next I'm gonna tank those clamps and make sure everything is tight. I might have some water leaking from the seal here because I am waiting on my new seal, but it should be okay. I'm not going anywhere. I can just run the engine and everything should be good. Yeah, those things, um, gotta uh, tighten them for torque. Usually it's aluminum, here it's aluminum as well, so you don't wanna over tighten it. It can like just destroy those threads. All right, so this is back in. the drain plug is uh, tight and fill it up with water and let it go just make sure your drain is all the way tight so everything is tight I'm gonna fill it up and let it run so water is already going in I'm just gonna fill it up more it's already going into the uh, block, to the uh, block and radiator, so yeah, that's good. I'm gonna fill it up and start the engine here in a second and uh, get it into the system. All right, let's start from this. probably around uh, maybe 15 minutes it's running uh, it, it's around 160 it doesn't doesn't seem to get uh, too high or well, it takes time because it's just uh, completely open so it's a cool system so anyway I put I put a cover on it on the radiator so it would prevent some of that airflow I'll just keep waiting and um, since it's already circulating it's doing what it's supposed to do. So I'll just keep waiting a little bit longer and then I'm gonna flash it and uh, flash it and that's it. All right guys, so um, basically it won't go above 160, which is cool. I did cover the top over there, but it uh, won't go above it, which is okay, it's anyway, it's open. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off. I'm 
so happy with everything because the heater works and that was the reason that I actually decided to do it mainly because of that also because it was 12 years old uh, coolant in it but uh, I'm just so happy that I'm doing it and it works so there is heat I love it especially in the winter up here and uh, yeah all right so I'm gonna drain everything uh, and fill it up with water again and then just make sure it's clear and then fill it up I'm gonna let the uh, engine cool down here and started to drain already so just gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna open this um, hose because it's gonna be much quicker than that but for now uh, I do see clear water coming out which is great so the, um, the engine is uh, cold, cooled down, still dripping out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy here and get everything out pretty quick. like we're pretty much done everything is clean clear water coming out which is great so I'm just gonna let it gonna let it drip here until it's completely out and then we're gonna close close and tighten all the hoses and fill it up all right guys so while this is um, draining all the way I'm gonna take the time and put the thermostat back and then I'm gonna fill it up that's it almost done one more thing I want to do I want to clean all the belts after that because I feel like um, I don't want all that stuff to all that coolant and stuff that drip don't want it to stay there so i'm going to clean those uh, belts and wash them so now as we got that hose out i can uh, go ahead and loosen those two bolts uh, and take them out and then i can um, completely go ahead and put back the uh, thermostat that i have and again guys i'm gonna um, change that thermostat to a newer one uh, the high flow one for now I'm just gonna put it back there's nothing wrong with it but I'm gonna make a separate video about thermostat change as well all right guys so here is the uh, old thermostat it's the only one I have right now but it looks looks good I mean it's just uh, just a regular military or AM general thermostat this one is for um, 195 
The new one is different. It looks like um, looks slightly bigger. There is more flow to it, and I think it's 190 instead of 195. So it will open up earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to open those. Engine is pretty much cold. The seal is still good. It, it, they usually rip. They rip apart um, when you get them out, when you separate the, the um, two parts, but um, I was able to put it back. It's not leaking or anything like that. So uh, I'm just gonna do the same thing. And anyway, I'm not gonna drive anywhere and um, should be pretty good. So, there we go. Okay, so this is the part. So I'm gonna put the thermostat back in, just the way it was. So I don't know, they put a lot of, um, I guess some, sealant on it or it's just I don't know looks a little bit weird but so the way it works basically once it reaches the temperature uh, it just pushes it back so you can kind of like see it move maybe yeah anyway there you go that's how it sits inside You would want to tighten them kind of like equally, both of them on the same same time. And, um, and then um, make sure that they are not too tight and tighten to torque. So I'm barely, I'm just tightening it a little bit and then I'm gonna um, tighten them torque after that. back in more thing I wanted to talk about while I'm here is the color of my fan so that's pretty cool like I heard that sometimes they get yellowish color I'm just glad mine is green definitely not yellowish and also way to check if your fan is good or not or I guess your um, coil is to see if it's uh, spinning if it's locked or not this one is locked so so just say yeah another way to make sure everything is okay is to just see if it's locked or not in place and it is so all right so i'm just looking inside here and it looks like it's clean absolutely clean i am amazed with that condition of this this humvee let's fill it up so guys one more thing important is to put these holes back in right now it's just not connected yet so I'm gonna just 
push it back in. There we go, where it's supposed to go. And tighten the clamp. And again guys just make sure it's tight but don't go crazy on it because this is a uh, the radiator is aluminum and it might dent it or hurt it also make sure that the drain plug is closed all the way and that's it Okay, that was number one. So gallon number two is in. Number three is in. Let's see. All right, let's start to see something here. So that's the fourth gallon I'm putting in. I'm gonna fill it up to the fill line. And I'm gonna let it, gonna let it take it. And add more, and more later. I think it's supposed to be another gallon or so. But I'm just gonna start the engine and let it go in. Good. Just squeeze that hose a little bit right here. But just be careful not to cut your fingers. guys so we're at about almost 200 so it's just about to open up and uh, looks like everything is working well nothing uh, overheating or anything like that all right just gonna wait for it to uh, open up and maybe I'll need to add more um, cool but for now it's looking good so guys, um, one thing I noticed, um, this coin has been sitting here since um, yesterday. And check this out, guys. Check this out. Look at that. There's a little bit of stuff underneath. Like, I guess it's um, good that I did it. It's good that I cleared. Yeah, just notice that, that sediment at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I dispose this uh, in the appropriate place. Yeah. Everything looks good, we're about 200 and it's 
pretty much stays on a little bit less than 200. So I think it's time to uh, turn it off. All right, guys. Well, it's almost um, dark here. It's getting dark so quick. But um, yeah, so we pretty much hit, basically almost hit uh, 200 degrees and uh, everything works fine. It won't even climb more more than um like 198 i would say um but it looks like everything works fine and i'm gonna have to add a little bit more coolant and then we'll go from there but um looks like it's a wrap we're gonna go and uh and um dispose all of the uh, coolant that we have which we got a lot and um and call it done for today. Since I'm not using the vehicle yet, I'm just gonna pour some call it into here and that way it gets in and fill up the uh, fill up the whole radiator. Yeah, just because it's not really opening up yet. So I just wanna fill it up so it will already be there. So we got number four, I'm gonna get number five. Let's see. It looks like it's good. Looks like we're, we got it full pretty much. Another like about half a gallon went in and we are good to go until we replace that thermostat. There you go. This is a little recap for what I did. We changed the coolant. I'm gonna start with just showing you guys um, pretty much what, what I got every time that I tried to uh, just drain the, the coolant that was there. So to start with, I'm very happy with the way that um, the coolant was. It wasn't bad at all. As you can see right here, wasn't bad. I mean, it had its color, it's not rusted. And this supposedly had been seeding for about 12 years. Now I do see some sediment at the bottom. Anyway. So kind of, you can kind of like see where we started and then I started to drain it even more and you can kind of like see a little bit of the bottom there. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's rust or not sure what it was. And also um, that was the next one which is much more clear but still that sediment at the bottom. And I also got a, on the video um, the large amount of sediment that was in the big bucket uh, where I collected all of the coolant. And these these are pretty much the last two, which you can kind of like see these guys much clearer. And pretty much after that one, it was just clear water. So guys, this is the one I used. Uh, I understand that the military is using Preston as well. I think it was about 12 bucks per, per um, gallon, which is not too bad at all. What I wanted is negative 50 so I can actually use my vehicle in ex more of extreme situations, let's say, and less worry about it. It's a little bit of a different video, but I just wanted to show again what I got out of my heater core when I uh, drained it and cleared it. So first of all, I got some like actual stones here and it's on the video. If you didn't watch the um, either core flash that I did, uh, just go to that video as well. But uh, yeah, that's what came out. Check this out. We didn't have any heat in the, in the cabin. I started with just draining that coolant out of there. And that's where I found all these debris and rocks. So it's all on that video. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy it. 
hope it was helpful. There is multiple ways to do it. This is the way I chose to do it. And hopefully you got some good uh, information from my uh, project. And again, hopefully it helped. So don't forget, stay tuned for the next one. And uh, subscribe, thumbs up, really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.